Right, well, that was a turn up for the book, wasn't it? Borough losing 5 0 at home. So, West Bromwich Albion, of all people. And uh, it's fair to say that a lot of people were in a, in a bit of a state of shock afterwards, as well as should be. Uh, the way in which the team capitulated uh, after what I would regard almost as two freakish goals um, was very, very disappointing. It's not something we had any idea might happen. Um, I, I do think there are a lot of circumstances where maybe at this moment in time we should give uh, everybody the benefit of the doubt. They've started the season so well. We probably would have settled for third place before the season started. Um, we wouldn't have settled for a 5 nil home defeat, of course. And um, it's fair to say that, as I understand it, the, the club are, are, are analysing it and trying to come up with uh, answers. Basically, they've got to try and work out why uh, a team of players who've been uh, performing better than most in this league could capitulate to a team of uh, similar ability, uh, mainly, because, mainly because a couple of things went wrong on the pitch. Um, I think we're talking about mentality more than ability. I, I, I think... And, and I think that's what the club are concentrating on, trying to get the belief back and the confidence back. It's still a worrying factor that 11 players should just fall away so easily and fragment as a team in the way that they did. Um, I don't want to make excuses. It's, I'm certainly, that's not my job to make excuses. But I, I do feel that we're still talking about a, a, a young team that's been put together very quickly and in fact, you could argue that uh, the team that played West Brom had only two regulars from last season in it, and that the West Brom team had only two new faces. So y you are talking about uh, a stable side against one that's still finding its way, even though Burr have been reasonably successful so far. Uh, I thought the way in which uh, Wheata and... and um, the new boy, Sean St. Ledger, didn't seem to know what the hell was going on. Was it was an indication, really, uh, of how um, this lack of understanding uh, that you do get over a long spell of games just wasn't there. I mean, Wheater looked like a duck out of water, really, in trying to work out where St. Ledger was going to be and where the ball was going and whatever. And um, it wasn't him at all. And, and I'm sure it was really the, the trying to get a new relationship going with a, with, a, with a different player, somebody not played with before. So that's something that's really got to be looked at uh, very strongly on the training ground uh, this week because I would argue that the two of them will probably be, have the opportunity to be the regular centre-backs. Um, Gary O'Neill, desperately, desperately missed. Um, let's hope he recovers from his hamstring niggle to be back at Coventry. Uh, up front, a little bit interesting to see. What's behind the manager's thinking? Fallen comes in, goes on the bench, but has to come on. Ali Adier, three great goals recently. Uh, starts the match, picks up a hamstring. Leroy Lita, who the manager said would score a lot of goals this season, has been on the bench. Um, we do need to try and work out who the, who the best two are up front and try and... Uh, um, it was almost predictable, even before the game, that Lita and Fallen would be ending it. And... You've got, to, you've got to wonder, well, maybe they should have started it and then let's see what happens. But uh, certainly Ali Adia was worth his place after what he's done, so it's a disappointment for him. Um, a, lot of it, a lot of ifs and buts, but for me it all hinged on, a, on, a, on an appalling uh, error by referee Trevor Kettle. I, I mean, obviously... You know, you know that referees are as honest as the uh, as the day, and uh, he didn't deliberately miss the foul in the in the centre circle on Reese Williams, but the foul was there, quite obvious, really, certainly on replay, uh, not given. Um, immediately afterwards, Williams commits a foul, quite clear foul, free kick for that one. They score with a deflected goal. Um, that sort of thing affects players, certainly affect the fans. We know the fans were booing the, the referee for every time he had anything to do with the game after that. It gets to people. It got to the borough. And then when 
we had what you had, well, I don't know if it's a missed kick from Danny Coyne or not, but it certainly uh, it didn't go to the right player in the fact it fell at the feet of Chris Brunt. I thought it was a terrific volley to finish in the way he did uh, into the open goal from fully 40 yards. 2-0 uh, down on the half hour. Heads went down dramatically. Shouldn't have happened, but did happen. And Gareth Southgate and his coaches are uh, trying to sort out you know, that problem this week. Uh, they've got to do it, in fact, because we know that when Borough are playing as they can, there isn't a problem. I've done very well in the opening seven games. Uh, there's something there. There's, there is a foundation there. They've got to somehow forget this game, if it's possible, and build on what they achieved before that. Uh, I still believe that uh, Borough are one of the best teams in the division. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me at all if they go to West Brom later in the season and win. Um, I don't think there's a lot between the sides. I think it was all in the head. And uh, really, Borough have got to give their heads a shake. It wasn't good enough for the fans. More than 20,000. Again, decent crowd there. Uh, let down very, very badly. Uh, I suppose more than anything else, the players let themselves down. We can't allow it to happen again, but uh, obviously we're going to find out what happens. I think if, uh, if they underperform at Coventry on Saturday, then there's every reason for people to get rather angry and upset about it. But in the short term, I think it's reasonable to write this off as a one-off, and let's hope it was. But uh, at the same time, you can't just say a bad day at the office and close the book on it. There has to be action. There is been action taken. Fingers crossed that it brings success.